Uh, so um, I'm really coming from uh, like a really diverse uh, family. Um, uh, my, my, my grandpa uh, had uh, two different wives. The first one was Jewish and the second one uh, was uh, uh, Kurdi Feli, uh, Shi'i Kurdi Feli. And uh, so um, I'm, Kurdi, I'm, I'm Iraqi, I'm Arab, I'm Shi'i Muslim. And uh, we live together in the same family we, with all the uncles and the aunts in a really peaceful community. And I think this has uh, made something in my heart, in our heart at all. Uh, and this is like how now I'm, I'm engaged to a Kurdish girl. Uh, she's uh, uh, Kurdish Sunni, she's Zibari, she's from Akri. Uh, from her father's side and from her mother's side is, uh, is a Kurdi family from Diyala. And uh, it's really uh, the family had mixed together with all these different religion and ethnicity in a really nice way, in a really peaceful way. Kurdish people have like a lot of different culture, a lot of d different things to do. Well, we as in like, I'm in, like an Arab, we have a really different culture. So I back to my grandpa, I ask him what your mother was doing, what your wife was doing, how life was it, how is the obstacle, how we can, how I can um, like overcome it and really uh, live in a peaceful life. And he said to me, you should respect all the the culture you should respect you should obey you shouldn't also be honest with each other and if you find something you are not like really fine with it or you're not suitable with it you can talk and you had you, you can feel you like, can reach a solution so um, I talked with, with my fiance in the beginning she explained to me all her culture everything and um, it really was like a peaceful discussion, like, hey, uh, something was like, really smooth. I, I respected her culture and she respected my culture. No interference, no forcing each other like to leave their culture, just like living a normal, normal life. You know, Arabs sometimes be restricted to their like Arabic na nationality and Kurdish also being restricted to their Kurdish nationality, especially with the clothes, you know. So my fiance asked me, um, Abbas, can you please um, wear some Kurdish dress, traditional Kurdish dress in our engagement party? And you know, this was so hard because I'm going to wear like a Kurdish dress in my engagement party. All my family going to see that and they said, oh, you just turned to Kurdish. You're not born an Arab. <laughs> but we, 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 we talked about this. I told her, OK, I'm going to wear a suit. I'm going to wear uh, like a tie that uh, sampling your Kurdish dress. Also, it's green. It's always with the shining things. But I'm going to like uh, in, the, in the next day, in the photo session I'm gonna like wear a Kurdish dress and be in the pictures so everyone can see it and smile. The, the thing that I'm really happy about and I didn't expect it to be honest like to be in that way that all my family were happy all my family were accepting my uncle my super religious uncle were so happy and they just asked me Abbas we spent here in the Hawk two days for the gift can you please invite us for a, for like the wedding in the Hawk and make it for seven days or 15 days I said okay <laughs> I'm gonna do that in the future